Hey, what's going on, Dodgers Nation? Doug McCain here. You can follow me on Twitter and Instagram at DMAC underscore LA. Should James Alvin be the Dodgers' new starting center fielder? We're going to dive into that in just a second. But quick reminder for our latest Dodgers news and rumors all season long. Be sure to hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, and if you really want to support the channel, smash that like button. And as always, I want your takes down below in the comments section. Today's Dodgers Nation question of the day. Who do you think the Dodgers should have as their starting center fielder on opening day? Should it be James Altman? Should it be Trace Thompson? Should it be Jason Hayward? I want your thoughts down below. And for all latest Dodgers news, head over to DodgersNation.com. So I recently caught up with Dodgers outfielder James Altman inside the Dodgers clubhouse. And we're going to get to that interview in just a second. But we have to talk about Altman's hot start because he is continuing to emerge and he looks the part. And in my opinion, he should be the Dodgers center fielder come opening day. If you look at his numbers so far this spring in seven games, 13 at bats, he's slashing 462, 529, 846, has a 1375 OPS, has a triple, a home run, four RBIs. And the most impressive number to me is just three strikeouts in 13 at bats, because that has been his issue is that he has really been a three true outcome player, a guy that strikes out a lot. Last year in his cup of coffee in this show, he had a 43.8% strikeout rate in 16 plate appearances. Now he did get off to a fantastic start. He had one of the most epic debuts in Dodger history, became just the eighth Dodger in franchise history to hit a home run in his first career at bat. And look, ever since then, it's been the legend of James Altman. And a lot of Dodgers fans are clamoring for him to get the opportunity to be LA's new starting center fielder. Now, why should LA go with Altman over a Jason Hayward or a Trace Thompson? Well, one, they need an impact left-handed bat because they were relying on Gavin Lux to be a guy that could produce for them. Freddie Freeman said that he expected him to hit close to 300 all season long. Now you have Miguel Rojas playing that position. And Miguel Rojas has looked better at the plate. You've seen him string together some base hits, but he's not a guy that's going to hit for power. He's not a guy that you can expect to really have a massive impact at the plate, but he does play premium defense. So how do you make up for that? Well, James Alman has the potential to be an impact bat at the big league level. You see his stroke. I think it's going to translate. It's a co- more compact stroke than a Cody Bellinger. I do think he can avoid those long slumps. I think you're going to see him have success. He just needs an opportunity. I think the one thing that I consider when it comes to James Altman is the fact that he was a seventh round pick back in 2018. If he was one of these top picks like Corey Seager or Cody Bellinger or Gavin Lux and the organization had more invested in him, I think that you would have seen him already. I think that he would get more of a runway, but I think he's fought to really get to where he is. And I had a really nice conversation with his dad at one of the spring training games. And to me, it's clear that his work ethic is off the charts. His want level to have success at the big league level is where it needs to be. Look, when you combine work ethic and effort with opportunity, that's when you get a success story like James Altman. And no one wants it more than James Altman. I think that he's a guy that has really been undeniable. Look, he had a great spring in 2022. He had a great debut for the Dodgers. He went back down where he had nothing else to prove at the triple a level and continued to rake and now he's gotten off to this hot start so if he continues this if he maintains this i think you have to give him that opportunity look trace thompson he hasn't looked great at the plate so far and yes it is important to not get too high or too low when it comes to spring training results but james alman i think when you consider what he can do athletically and physically the way he can command center field and play that position i think that he's the guy who deserves this opportunity. And yes, Jason Hayward, he's gotten off to a great start himself. His swing looks a lot better. You had Dave Roberts talk about him unlocking some things. And yes, his swing was very long with the Cubs, and it's already a shorter stroke with the Dodgers, and it allows him to catch up to more high-velocity pitching. And his numbers have been fantastic so far. In four games, 10 at-bats, he has an OPS of 14.55. You saw the power numbers go up. Two home runs, two RBIs, a walk, and no strikeouts. And yes, I think Jason Hayward is an absolute lock to make this team. I think he provides a lot as a leader as well. You see his presence already paying off in that clubhouse. But I think it's more important for James Altman to get a starting opportunity earlier than it is for a Jason Hayward or even a Trace Thompson. 
who you can still throw in left. I think if you give Jason Hayward the opportunity to have a role where he is a guy that can come off the bench, he is a guy that can start games occasionally, and if James Altman can't get it done, well, you can easily pivot to Hayward, who is a five-time Gold Glove Award winner who looks like his swing is back where it needs to be to where, at the very least, he has a chance to be a league average at the plate. But with James Altman, I think you consider the ceiling. I think you consider the fact that he turns 26 in May and he'll be closer to 30 than 20. At some point, you have to see what you have in these guys and you can't coach experience. You can't coach opportunities and James Altman needs the opportunity to consistently face big league pitching. He needs the opportunity to face lefties. As he told me a few months ago, BP pitchers don't pitch lefty that well. You need the opportunities to really grow and really develop that skill. So I'm all in on Altman. I definitely want to see him get that opportunity. I think that he's shown that athletically, you saw the triple he hit. His game is going to play when you consider the new rules that's going to encourage more athleticism, maybe even some base stealing. So, yeah, I definitely want to see James Altman as my everyday starting center fielder as of right now, and we'll see what happens, but that's how it stands at the moment. But I caught up with James Altman a few days ago, and here's our conversation. What up, Dodgers Nation? D-Mac here, here with Mr. James Altman. James, thanks for joining us. Yeah, thanks for having me. Yeah, and you put in so much work this offseason. How great is it to just really get this thing going? It's exciting. This is a fun time of year. Everyone's looking forward to it. Um, the offseason always feels short, and then you get here, and you're like, man, I haven't played baseball in forever. It feels good to be back, so we're all excited. Yeah, now that you're in camp and you're around all these guys, just kind of talk about like absorbing some of this and just this veteran leadership and just kind of the vibe this whole clubhouse. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of, there's a lot of knowledge when I'm looking around here. There's a lot of guys that have a lot of at-bats under their belt and a lot of years, so... Um, there's a there's no shortage of of answers when I, whenever I need. Yeah, you told me a couple months ago that you're really excited to see Jason Hayward. What's that's been like, and what's your really initial impressions of playing with him? He's awesome. He's awesome. He's got a lot of years, a lot of a uh, lot of experience, a lot of a lot of plays. Uh, Gold Glover. Um, great teammate and uh, I love asking questions because he's always going to give me like a thought out answer and, and he's a great dude. Yeah now that you're in camp and your swing's getting going how is that swinging is there anything you're looking to focus on as far as improvements go? Uh, yeah I mean honestly like I'm always trying to cut down the strikeouts drive yeah. the ball the other way um, but realistically like uh, I just want to be James Altman and 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 do what's brought me success while I'm still trying to improve the other areas. Yeah, and being James Altman and talking about your role on this team, really got an opening for, really a need for another left-handed bat. I mean, what are your thoughts on really just kind of attacking this role that you really could have for this team? Yeah, I mean, honestly, uh, you know, we're we're all upset with what happened with Gavin. Yeah. We all feel for him, and uh, we're, we're all hoping he gets a quick recovery. But, you know, to, to answer your question, honestly, just plugging away and doing my thing and, and let the rest take care of itself. Yeah, and of course, last month we found out you had a superstition, and that was your your pet rock. Now we have it here. Can we check out this pet rock real quick? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, man. So does it have a name or? Yeah, Rocca. It's Rocca. Yeah. How much? Uh, how many cups of coffee is it drinking every day? Uh, you can see from the stains, it's usually a little drizzle. Uh, I'll like pour a little coffee in there every once in a while uh, if he's getting tired. But uh, but yeah. Uh, <laughs> well, there you go. Hey, whatever works, right? Exactly. Hey. Well, there he is, Mr. James Altman. Have a great spin. We look forward to seeing the season. Thank you. All right, man. It. Take these. Thanks for the time. So, like I said, when the Dodgers non-tendered Cody Bellinger back in November, they can get better production with James Altman at over $17 million less. Look, Cody Bellinger was set to make over $18 million in 2023. They non-tender him. And in James Altman, I think where his swing's at right now, I think the potential that he has, I think defensively, he's going to be able to man that position. And I think that he truly deserves this opportunity. I think he's earned this opportunity. And yes, we're still extremely early during spring training. And yes, he has looked apart so far. But I would be saying this if we hadn't even played a spring training game. That's how much I believe in James Outman. And just that's how much I believe in the process of you have to give young players opportunities to see if they can produce. You have to scratch off these lottery tickets to see if you have a winner. And I think that he hasn't gotten the requisite number of big league at-bats to truly see what the Dodgers have in him. And then you can the fact, like we mentioned earlier, Gavin Lux goes down. You need another left-handed bat. And yes, Jason Hayward has the potential to provide that. But why not give Outman an opportunity early on in the season when you're trying to assess what you have? Look, Andrew Friedman, he talked to reporters a few days ago. 
and it sounded to me like he's open to making a trade and that doesn't mean just looking for a short stop that means that if they're looking for some more offensive production maybe they look to trade for another outfielder so you might have a guy that has an impact in James Altman so might as well start there first before you explore the trade market and really see what you need to bring in to bolster this lineup but let me know down below in the comment section who do you want to see as the starting center fielder for the Dodgers right now are you all in on Altman like I am let me know down below my name is Doug McCain you can follow me on Twitter and Instagram at DMAC underscore LA for all latest Dodgers news and rumors all season long be sure to hit that subscribe button hit that notification bell and if you want to see us post even more Dodgers content smash that like button and as always think blue bleed blue and I'm out Thank <laughs> you.